It is plants, and plants alone, which generate all the food we have on Earth. Without them, ours would be a dead planet. And four billion years ago, that's just what it was. Dead. A forbidding, hostile place. Bombarded by ultraviolet radiation. The planet's surface sealed with poisonous gases. Yet in such conditions, strange carbon compounds formed with power to reproduce themselves. From them appeared the first primitive cells of life. Drawing energy from the sun, they began to make their own food, some combining water with a chemical we know as chlorophyll. And this produced an important byproduct, bubbles of oxygen. An atmosphere was being created in which you and I would eventually be able to breathe and live. Two billion years ago, this was the scene where land and sea met. In the next billion years, the oxygen was gradually, gradually accumulating, some of it forming a shield of ozone in the upper layers of the atmosphere. was set for life in many forms and true plants swarmed in prehistoric waters. But we can no longer take for granted the age-old rhythms of nature. The growth of human knowledge has given us a decisive influence everywhere, from the depths of the oceans to the sky's final, delicate skin of our atmosphere. It is our actions which will change the world, for good or for evil. In the sheer joy of our existence, we must love and cherish those delicately balanced forces of nature which are enshrined in the green contract. They formed the rules of the created world before we joined the long march of evolution. They hold the secret of our life on Earth.